questions? I understand, I understand. Yeah. Um, thank you, everyone. Hello, I'm Daryl Chamberlain. I'm one of the people who started this campaign up. Um, and just firstly, I'd like to thank you all for giving up uh, uh, part of your evening to listen to us. It's uh, really appreciated. Um, a quick word first on what the Silver Town Tunnel actually is. Um, it's a proposal that's been around in various shapes and forms for uh, quite some time. The current plan is to link the Greenwich Peninsula with the Royal Docks. Uh, there'll be a road tunnel coming off the A102 at Tunnel Avenue, that's the cable car, you should see a map. Um, it'll be a road tunnel coming off the A102 at Tunnel Avenue and it'll go under the cable car and it'll emerge at the Lowell Lee Crossing roundabout just over the water in Silvertown. Um, if it gets built, you'll be able to drive through it, you won't be able to walk and you won't get to cycle. TFL launched a consultation last year which was basically packed with leading questions. It's more or less, you know, would you like to solve all the traffic problems in your area? Um, one of the questions was, how many times do you cross through by road? And that's got nothing to do with whether or not I want more traffic coming down a motorway that goes through my community. You'd hope that our council would have supported our community. You'd hope that our MP would have supported our community. And in fact, what actually happened was this. Was that? Um, that's the leader of British Council and the MP and some business leaders and other people that got together to, rep to support the campaign to build this thing. Um, Greenwich publishes a, a weekly newspaper which featured this campaign for eight successive issues. So there was no real room for any kind of open and honest debate. So I was talking with um, Adam Yenkov, who's there, uh, about this um, in December um, when TFL launched his consultation. And we thought, yeah, the council should be told where to stick this campaign. Um, nobody else locally was actually campaigning against Silvertown. Yeah, people maybe were scared of the power of Kent drivers, we don't know. So we launched a petition, uh, which is um, We launched a petition, which went into the consultation. We had 373 signatures um, by the time the consultation closed. And we managed to get quite a bit of attention in the local media, for which we're very grateful. We also asked the local residents to uh, ask questions at a council meeting, and uh, in 28 questions, the C Greenwich Council could not uh, offer a single shred of evidence to justify its support for Silvertown. I put a uh, freedom of uh, information at request in uh, to Greenwich about this, and 10 months on, they're still refusing to offer up their evidence. In fact, Greenwich says it's just going to leave Boris Johnson to come up with the answers instead. I mean, I actually asked Boris myself at a State of London debate um, earlier this year, and he didn't come up with anything either. He just blustered. So, after all this, what next? We were approached by Andrew Wood, who's from the organisation Network for Clean Air. He's just sat, sat there. And he had organised some funding for some pollution shoes. Now, what are these pollution shoes? Here's one from there. Um, they measure ambient concentrations of nitrogen dioxide in the air. Um, so all we needed was some volunteers, some table ties, and some stores to stand on. So the idea was we'd leave these on lampposts, a couple of metres up so they didn't get nicked. We did put one outside here, but it did get nicked. Um, and then we'd leave them up for four weeks. And there we go, there's some, some young, fit, healthy volunteers um, putting the uh, tubes up. We have volunteers who put those tubes up, oh, sat around this hall now. So thank you very much for taking part. Um, so after four weeks we took them down. Send them back to the lab and we get the results back. It's basically a bit like the old, old fashioned holiday snaps. So we did this 13 of us on a sunny Sunday afternoon in June. We chose 40 locations along the A102 and A2, which would form the approach to the tunnel, and also along the A206, <coughs> which uh, runs through Greenwich and Charlton. Um, one other thing I should say about the tubes was it was part of a bigger funding package for um, other campaigns north of the river uh, about Silvertown and for get the Gallium Bridge as well. Um, and so tubes also put up around. Um, East Ham, Betson, North Woolwich, but this meeting's about Greenwich and it's about Silvertown. So we put 56 tubes up and four weeks later we, put, put, we took 53 tubes down and we got these results from the lab. Now these won't make sense, much sense to you, they didn't make much sense to any of us either. So Stuart's here, created this map. And Stuart's now going to talk about the map and the results we got. Thank you. <coughs> yeah,